Welcome to iLecture Online and here's another example of how to do um, physics problems dealing with electrical potential and electrical potential energy. And let's read the problem together. It says here that an electron is placed in an electric field with a magnitude of 5,000 volts per meter directed to the left, caused by two charged plates one meter apart. Starting at the left plate, the electron zips across to the other side and emerges through a little hole how fast is the electron moving when it emerges from that hole? All right, let's draw a picture to get a feel of what it looks like. So here's two parallel plates. They're positioned one meter apart. And uh, let's see, the electric field is directed to the left. So let's draw some electric field lines to the left. <clears throat> like so, the magnitude of the field is equal to 5,000 volts per meter. It's the uh, same units as Newton's per coulomb. We place an electron on the left plate, right here. Oop, that's an electron, not a positive charge, an electron. Of course, remember that if the, um, the field is directed to the left, that means there should be positive charges over here and negative charges over here because the electric field is always directed from positive charges to negative charges. And so you can see then that this electron would be repelled by these negative charges and attracted by the positive charges. So we'll zip across this uh, space and then if we make a little hole in the plate there, the electron would zip across, accelerate, and once it leaves the electric field, it would then be moving at a constant speed. And the question is how fast will it be moving when it gets there? So the way you can look at this problem is it's kind of like a conservation of energy problem. By pushing the electron there, by placing it there, you have stored a certain amount of energy into that electron. So you could say that we have energy initial at this place of the electron, and then when the electron zips through the other side, it has no longer any potential energy, but it now has kinetic energy, so that should equal the final energy when it emerges through the hole. And of course, as we said, the energy it has here is initial potential energy, and when it emerges, it has final kinetic energy. So, kinetic energy final, like so. So how much potential energy does the electron have? Well, it has the same amount of potential energy as if you pushed it all the way across, and it would then equal the work done to get it there. So that's equal to the work done to get it there, and the kinetic energy then would be 1 half mv squared. Of course, how much work does it take to push an electron across an electric field like that? The work done would be equal to force times distance. And the force that an electron experiences in an electric field is equal to E times Q. So this is E times Q times D equals 1 half mv squared. So the strength of electric field times the charge of the electron times the distance we moved it to get it there that's the potential energy stored equals the kinetic energy when it emerges on the other side. So now all we have to do here is solve that equation for V. So we multiply both sides by 2, divide both sides by M, and move the equation around. So we can say V squared is equal to 2EQD divided by the mass of the electron. And then we take the square root of both sides. So the velocity is equal to the square root of 2EQD divided by the mass. Plug in all the right numbers. So the velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times the strength of the electric field, which was 5,000 volts per meter, times the charge of the electron, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, and then times the distance, and we travel the distance of 1 meter. And then we divide the whole thing by, let's see, the mass of the electron, which if I remember right, is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. All right, let's go ahead and grab our calculator, put those numbers in there, and see what we get. So 2 times 500 is, 2 times 5,000 is 10,000, times 1.6 e to the 19 minus times 1, divided by 9.11 e to the 31 minus equals, and then we take the square root of that. Wow, that's quite fast. This one, two, 41.9 million meters per second.
That's actually quite a considerable portion of the speed of light because the speed of light is 300 million meters per second. So that's, uh, wow, more than 10% of the speed of light. So if an electron is situated in an electric field of 5,000 volts per meter and allowed to accelerate over a distance of one meter through the field, it will emerge at a speed of 41.9 million meters per second, which is the same as saying 41,900 kilometers per second. So that's quite fast. Those little electrons can zip quite fast in electric fields like that. All right, but that's how you do a problem like that. So here's another example of how you deal with electrical potential energy inside electric fields. Okay, let's do a few more problems not dealing with electrical potential and see what that looks like.